So, I, I'm, and people sit there and they try very hard to convince me it's real, which is actually quite interesting because it's always usually depressed people who sit there and try very hard to defend this idea. If you're so scared, if depression's so terrible, why are you sticking up for it? Why are you fighting so hard to convince me it's such a, it's such a powerful force? Why shouldn't you be doing the opposite? Shouldn't you be listening to me? Whose team are you on? Like, do you want to be depressed? Like, it's, it's insanity, these people who are so desperate to push this idea. Then you add in the pharmaceutical element and the fact that everyone's taking these fucking drugs messing mm -hmm. with their brain chemistry. It's garbage. I think that you feel depressed sometimes because you're human. Completely true. The best option, the best thing to do is still to get up, be an adult, control your emotions, be stoic, and do the things you're supposed to do day after day. Laying in bed and doing nothing is never gonna be the best option. The best option is still to go to the gym, to work hard, to run your business, to be successful. So it doesn't matter. We're talking about the different positions on the chessboard. But if the rules of the game remain the same, regardless of the position, you're still trying to win. You, you still have to do the same things. So does it even matter at this point? If you come along and say he's depressed because of X and he's depressed because of Y and he's depressed because of Z, and the answer to all of them is still the same thing, then I don't give a fuck why you're depressed. People all talk about depression and say, I don't understand it. I will say, listen, there's been times in my life where I was fully functional as an adult. I would never label myself depressed because I don't believe in the idea of labeling myself in the negative. Because I don't believe in things that take power from me. But there's been times in my life where I didn't give a fuck if I lived to die. There's been times in my life where I went to fight a man and I didn't give a shit if I, if I, if I lost and even woke up. I had nothing worth living. I was brokey, didn't have a girlfriend, didn't have any fucking money. Got a two day call to fight some world champion. Had to lose 10 kilos in two days. Had nothing else going for me go on a plane to Dagestan and fucking walk. By all conventional wisdom, I was depressed, I was suicidal, but I was just like, no, I don't give a shit. I was most powerful when I was sad, when I was depressed, when all these things. Everyone can feel sad or overwhelmed at times, but depression is a chronic feeling of emptiness, sadness, or inability to feel pleasure that may appear to happen for no clear reason. It is distinct from grief and other emotions a person may feel following difficult life events. All I know, what I will state as a matter of fact, is this world is hyper competitive, especially as a man. Mm -hmm. Most men are walking through life and they don't realize that it's constant competition. Mm -hmm. I was driving here, even as I was driving here, I was looking out the window and I was looking at all these people just walking around. One of them had a fucking croissant. One of them was dressed like a dickhead because it's London. He thinks he fucking looks cool. He's a fucking moron. We've all seen them. Yep, moron. <laughs> Some of the dude just talking shit on the phone. Some other guy with headphones in waiting to be fucking murdered. Wouldn't even hear it coming. And all these NPCs, I'm just looking at them going, do they realize they're in endless constant competition? Every single pound they want, someone else wants. Every single girl they want, someone else wants. There are people like me out here. I will destroy, you could get all 30 of them in a room and I will sit by myself and absolutely annihilate them in any single metric. And they're just sitting there just fucking floundering and wandering through life, unaware of how competitive the world is. Well, and whinging how unfair and it is. And whinging how unfair it is. And this is my point. If the world is truly that competitive, you do not have time to be depressed because it's a non-competitive mind state. Mm. I, you can be depressed for X, Y, Z, whatever. I'm not depressed. And I want the money you want, and I want the girl you want, and I want the status you want, and the car you want, and the house you want. And I'm going to get it, and you're fucking not. And that's the bottom line of life. If you gave that guy that stuff, he probably wouldn't be depressed. Well, he's he get up on his ass and work then, doesn't business. he? And this is the point. <laughs> he yeah. probably so, would because he wouldn't have a direction in life. I think it's a very empowering message that you share. Feeling depressed is real. That is a real thing. And I truly believe that the reason you feel depressed is so that you are inspired into action. You're unhappy with your surroundings and you're inspired. This is the reason why you don't want to go to jail. Both of us don't want to go to jail because we'll both be depressed because we don't like our situation. It's a natural human instinct to make you work hard and try harder to build a life. So when people come to me and go, oh, I, I can't, I'm fat and I don't know what to do because I'm depressed. I say, no, you're depressed because you're fat. Not the other way around. Feeling depressed is real. But this idea that you could walk through life and everything's fine and you could catch depression from the sky like a disease and strikes your brain and there's nothing you can do about it. No matter how hard you try, you are depressed no matter what. This is garbage. This is complete garbage that's been propagated by the weak-minded. And, and the proof of this is that in countries with a harder life where people are too busy struggling to survive, there's less depression. And I just can't see a reality worth having. I can't see a reality worth living. I can't see how you're going to build a life worth experiencing if you have any other mindset. I've never seen somebody massively succeed and they didn't believe in themselves ever. I've never seen somebody who just allows life to happen to them and become blown off course by some sadness end up doing massively monumental and important things. I've never seen it. It's never happened. It does, and it's never going to happen because it's competitor. It's like crypto. It's player versus player. Right. 
I can sit here right now at power. I can sit here right now and recall events that will prevent me from sleeping for two to three days. That gives me a superpower that other men do not have. They want to go to sleep. They're tired. I, I can stop being tired for, for days at a time. I can just have a thought. I can remember. I can sit, close my eyes, and use the power of my brain to vividly remember events, and I will not sleep for days. And when people come to me and say, oh, this happened. I'm really sad, or my heart broke, or this bad thing happened to me, I say, good. Good. That's Thank right. the Lord that he's given you this endless source of motivation. You're wasting it. Yep. That's your problem. But it's been given to you. Nitrous oxide has been given to you. You just have to use it in the correct way. So I'm the luckiest man in the world because uh, all the bad things that happened to me have given me all the building blocks to become the most fantastic man on the face of the planet. I watched a documentary about a girl. Her, she was a German girl and her, she was on a plane in Chile in the 70s that crashed. And she was the sole survivor in the jungle. She woke up next to her headless mother. She woke up, she walks around the jungle. She has a bad cut, cut gets infected. She ends up uh, struggling for food. She collapses, gets saved by local people, nearly dies, ends up back in Germany, blah, 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 blah. And they asked her in the interview, so how did you recover from this? You woke up next to your headless mother and you nearly died in the jungle. And now it turns out you're alive again and you're back in Germany. What did you do? You know what her reply was? Well, I got a job because our family needed money. And they said, well, what about therapy? And then she goes, we didn't do those things back then. Then there, there's the proof it's all bullshit. She's been through more than anyone. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is you're playing a game and it's a competitive game and you need to build a mindset that allows you to be ultra competitive. And if you want to sit there and say, no, I want a non-competitive mindset, then fine. You know what you call people who do not win competitions? Loses. Correct. <laughs> dad, we, used to, dad used to call, uh, say when, when I came second, he was like, second is the first loser. Yeah. It's true. And it, it's just a bottom line of life. And, mm. and it's kind of interesting because everyone pretends they give a fuck, but nobody does, mm. especially women. And I don't get attacked for women, but women truly don't give a fuck. If you ask a woman the kind of man she wants, she will never say depressed or sad ever. She wants a man who is ultra capable, ultra competent. I, I've literally had women say to me, you know, what? I love being around you. I'm like, well, I don't have to think. I'm like, what do you mean? Because I just turn up and like, we just walk in the hotel and everyone, staff do anything we want and the jet's just on the runway and we just land and I'm in this beautiful place and I don't even know where I am and I get to just turn my brain off and it's great. Like, they want someone who is fun and spontaneous and charismatic and successful. They don't have time for sad dudes. They don't care. So the world doesn't care. The world has never given a shit about sad men. Instagram's the number one cause of female depression in the Western world. I'm 100% sure of it. Any girl who's 29, I have girl, I know girls who are 29, 30 years old and they're still beautiful, but they'll scroll up and down, you know, the nearly in tears about 22. Like literally, Instagram is that powerful for these women and they live on it. And so women, they got a ticking time clock, but as a man, you haven't got to be handsome. You haven't got to be pretty. If you're a successful dude and your mind's right, you can be, a, you can be an ogre and you're still going to be out there doing whatever you want to do and living your life. Depression is the ultimate motivation. Oh, so you're depressed. Okay, that, so, so you come along to me and you tell me you're depressed. I expect to see a huge list of what you're achieving for a day. You're unhappy with your life, but you're depressed. I don't expect you to be popping pills and sitting and laying in bed. I expect you to give me a huge list of everything you're achieving per day. Depression's a fantastic motivation. You know, but people are told the opposite. No, you feel depressed, that's wrong. You should be happy anyway. Take the pills, stay home, take some time off. Complete garbage. You're depressed? Okay, get up. Go for a run. Lift more weights. Make more money. Get a second job. Get more girls. Like You, know, you can outrun depression. I said this to one guy who That's was coming to me. That's a great quote right there. You can outrun you depression. Can outrun. You ain't got time to be sad right. if you're getting where you need to get. You ain't got time for that. You can outrun it. If yes. you start working the jobs you need to do and you're training and you're seeing three or four different girls and you're trying to start your business on the side, you have no time to sit around moping. So outrun it. And before you know it, you'll wake up one day and you'll look at your life and go, wow.